Hello there guys. I hope you're doing awesome this holiday season. My name is JC of the Greenery Pundit. So today our house plant feature is no other than the Sansevieria or snake plant. Sansevieria or snake plant is a common house plant which has so many varieties or cultivars that are out in the market today. And some are tagged as pricey or rare. Well, Sansevieria is a typical houseplant which is native to Asia and Africa. These are often used as home decor since they are pleasing to the eye and they are easy to care for. Not only that, they only require little water to survive. So they are considered to be relatively safe but they are mildly toxic if consumed. Their leaves contain toxins that can cause swelling and numbness of the tongue if eaten in large doses. So of course, you wouldn't want to eat your plant, would you? The most common snake plant foliage presents a slender green leaves with gray or silver horizontal streaks. So these plant can grow several feet tall and does well in low light areas. Leaf grows in many forms, so it has a sword-like, a tubular, round cluster or like, some bird, like a bird's nest and twisted formation. So I have here in front of me some of my San Severia collection. So let's find out their names and I will offer care tips as well. This one is the San Severia Blue Q. So this plant grow in all types of lighting and it is best if you place it in a moderate to bright indirect light but it is also tolerant to low light conditions too. Um, if you want to induce the color of variegation, so you may also want to place it in a location that receives or which receives direct sunlight. Then the average house humidity is perfect for most sun states, especially with the Sansevieria Blue Q. As far as extra care needs, you may want to plan to keep them away from the drafty areas. And as far as extra care needs, you may want to keep them away from drafty areas or places with vents that, you know, blow directly on the plant. Next one that I have here is the Sansevieria cylindrica species. So we have here a cylindrica. I think this one is watermelon, but uh, it has no tag in it, so I'm not sure. And this one, uh, this one is the Bonsal Platinum, as what they call it. So Sansevieria Bonsal Platinum is, as you can see, is a dwarf variety of Sansevieria cylindrica. So this form has thick, fleshy, very pale green to slivery leaves and grows in a fan-like manner look at that actually i do have a bonsal a giant bonsal and maybe i will feature it next time in my next video so it is a great easy to care and compact plant perfect for busy plant people with small paces you know what's good about this plant is that they require a little amount of water as you see right Okay, so our third Sansevieria is the Gabriella Hybrid. So the Gabriella Hybrid is created by Mr. Ganigan himself. So its variegation varies from one plant to another. And, you know, it forms a tower-like plant when it reaches its maturity. So this specimen I have, I place it in the West Pasho as it receives afternoon light. They really love the afternoon light. So watering, like any other sun stays, it likes to be drenched when it is completely dry. So you may also allow one to two days before watering. Okay, so this one is the Sansevieria Golden Honey. So it is a small succulent that forms rosettes of green oval leaves with dark green cross bonds and broad creamy leaves, yellow margins. So broad creamy yellow margins, there, there, there it is. Okay, so this plant grows up to 8 inches tall. And in terms of watering, you have to allow the soil completely before you water. So in my case, I do give it an allowances of one to two days before watering them and so you may place it in a moderately bright and filtered light mine was placed in the north facing window through a sheer curtain and guys i'm telling you it really really likes being there okay so here is my sansevieria lucille polan i really love this plant so this plant is distributed by the polans from the golden bird's nest honey 
So a bold pewter gray, central chevron, that one, separates the golden cream center of each leaf from the dark thick green margin. So in terms of watering, water only when the soil is completely dry. And I'm telling you guys, this plant is a slow grower. And now we have the Sansevieria Futura, or is it Futura? Futura or Futura, correct me guys. But it is the Sansevieria Futura Splash. Okay, so it has a yellow leaves as you can see with silvery splash in the center and has green edges. So it prefers medium to bright in direct light as per light requirements but can also tolerate lower light as well as direct sun so in terms of watering you may water it only when the soil is completely dry water it until liquid flows through the drainage hole and discard any water that accumulates in the saucer if you have if you have placed it in a pot with a saucer so like any other senseis this one prefers a dry environment Look how gorgeous. And this cute sunset is the Samurai Dwarf. So this rare sunset Samurai Dwarf is believed to have originated in Africa. So it has a short stature, only growing for about four to six inches tall. And the short green leaves have a pronounced V-shape with a slight red tint on the leaf edges and leaf tips. And as you can see, they arise on the stem in an alternating pattern. See? Okay, so looking down from the top, it creates a pleasing, uh, do you call this, a um, pleasing circular form, but mine is still small, so you may not still yet appreciate its circular form. So like all other senseis, it grows best in full sun. In terms of watering, of course, you have to water this only when the soil is dry. See how cute. Okay, and the last one for the part one of our plant identification and care featuring the Sansevieria, we have the Sansevieria Cleopatra. So with the name like Sansevieria Cleopatra, you cannot expect anything less than a beautiful and stunning house plant, is it? But this is just still young, although I can uh, still wait for months or even a year to really uh, see the beauty or the potential of this plant. And the Sansevieria Cleopatra plants are low growing succulent that generally do not grow too large. So they are perfect for filling in those bare patches of ground within a cocktail garden or placing high in an ornamental pot as the centerpiece of the garden. you have them our first wave of sansevierias so we will continue in identifying some of my sansevierias here so this is only the part one so i hope i'll see you guys next time and if you think this video is helpful and engaging again i will remind you to like and subscribe my channel it's greenery pundit so you can still watch more of videos related to plants Thank you for watching. Goodbye.